Welcome to this technical review of the USB block eruptor ASIC miner. Now, if you're completely unaware of what an ASIC miner is and what it's used for, click on the video beside me in order to get up to speed. But assuming you're already aware of cryptocurrency mining and that you're here because you're interested in this and other ASIC mining devices, we'll just move right along. Now, when it comes to ASIC cryptocurrency miners, this device may not be the fastest on the market, but it is certainly the cheapest. With clock speeds around 333 MHz and a power consumption around 2.8 watts, this device is incredibly more economical than using a high-end desktop for GPU mining. It features a USB interface, obviously. However, you cannot simply plug this in and expect it to work off the bat. You need to find and install the proper drivers before plugging one of these in. It features a green LED indicator to show when it is idle or accepting work, and a heat spreader on the back that features the Bitcoin symbol and comes in a variety of colors. However, this device does have its drawbacks. The biggest issue is being heat output. This device runs incredibly hot. Not hot enough to fry your hardware altogether, but you still want to be careful when handling these after a hashing session. And for those who wish to use this device for extended periods of time, may want to look into third-party cooling accessories in order to ensure them long life. And an even bigger drawback is potential profitability. So, are they worth investing in? Disregarding electric costs, mining pool fees, increases in mining difficulty, and exchange rates, if you have one of these devices hashing 24-7, 7 days a week, it can take over 10 months before you make back the amount you originally purchased this for. However, that is just in Bitcoin. There are many other cryptocurrencies out there that have a significantly lower mining difficulty level, and though they may be of lesser value than Bitcoin, you still may be able to break even mining those currencies at a faster rate. So in final summary, is this device better than mining with a CPU or GPU? Yes. Will they gain you a profit? Not for a long time. How much time? That depends on a lot of variables. Is this good for making some quick cash? Absolutely not. What is it good for? Teaching. This device does an incredible job of introducing curious people to Bitcoin mining and other cryptocurrencies. It is fairly easy to set up and use and it is relatively affordable. And should one desire to invest further in mining hardware, they may do so with a better sense of the environment they're entering. Thanks for watching. Links to the website suggested in this video are in the video description below. And if you have any questions, comments, or helpful suggestions for this video, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, stay groovy, stay crazy, happy mining.